right when I press record is when my dad is calling. Or like, not right when, but like, not too many seconds after. Um... So this morning, this morning is like, kind of like, um, how I talked about, like with the, oh, okay. That works. <laughs> He's calling on the other phone. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Jeez. Almost, almost gonna spill water if I'm not careful. Which I did upstairs a couple days ago in my youngest brother's room. But um, so kind of like, kind of like how with that like, um with that Peter Pan booklet thing like months ago or whatnot how like maybe the same morning of that it just seemed like I was able to think of like um that April 10 2016 weekend maybe other 
it might have just been that April 10, 2016 weekend. Um, if not, then maybe like other April 10 years to like 2020 and, and this year. But it might maybe it was primarily or just the April 10, 2016 weekend. But um, and like because this year April 10 was on a Monday, so it was like the week kind of the week and like maybe you would come the next Monday but like kind of the week of and then in 2020 it was like April 10 was on Friday I think and then it was like that weekend debatably and then like maybe not debatably and then on in 2016 April 10 was on Sunday and then it was like like that Friday evening Saturday Sunday kind of thing anywho um so, but like that mo- that that day, not Monday, that day, um, that there was that one morning that like, even though I've thought about April 10, 2016, unless it was the other April 10s too, but it might have just been April 10, 2016, primarily or fully. But like, whatever April 10 stuff I was thinking of, like, it was just kind of like, I was able to like, It just like I was able to kind of see it to just think of stuff or or just see stuff at like and may, I don't know if it would have even per se been in like in a new way or a fresh way because maybe the stuff I thought of I would have technically thought of before but it's just like it was flowing in a different way like I but I guess I don't even know if I could say that I was like thinking of stuff that I've never thought of before maybe maybe that's not the case but it just like and like I bring that up because this morning like just kind of thinking about like my life like there really might be like some type of I think there's something to like that like I mean the veal theory thing that I had is like inspired from something from the bible I think more or less but like the idea like there's certain days that like just certain stuff is going to be more open to you i feel like there's certain th- certain things that are just kind of going to be blocked from you for however long cuz you're not supposed to have it yet like or maybe you're never supposed to have it like Like, it may seem like we're in control, and we do affect things in some manner, but we're, there's stuff that we're not aware of, because, like, I, like, I was just, like, this more, and it, and it's also the day before I go back, and, like, I'm just kind of, like, even the way I'm talking, I feel like, is, is be- like I'm still like cuz I especially with the April 10 thing I was still like you know like clarifying or checking or maybe being like detail oriented like I'm detail oriented or whatever you want to call it but like I just feel like my talking is like even stronger cuz I just I guess you could say some, I don't know, some, I don't know.
like they in my head like the last like few days it's been like and this this happens like i for me like for like this isn't per se uncommon like this is something that happens here and there in however many past years like where because with when it comes to like my mental there's like there is some kind of like spiritual stuff going on like remnants of 11th grade or I mean I guess it would maybe mainly be 11th grade but like and so like look and And speaking of which, like, looking at my life this morning, just, I guess, in relation to, with, like, a sort of focal point, sort of being 11th grade and, like, kind of, like, Because even spiritual weirdness stuff happened, like, just, and also noticing, like, one point of my, like, s stuff this morning was realizing that, like, spiritual weirdness stuff kind of started, like, once I left Jesus before 11th grade, because I was, I think that was the summer after 10th grade, summer before 11th grade, and, like, And then just thinking about, like, just kind of thinking about of my life, like, big picture, but, like, it almost seeming, like, almost like a failure or disappointing in a certain way, because, like, I was focused on, or, like, I just kind of was looking at my life from, like, a spiritual aspect kind of with an emphasis on, like, the, like, 11th grade spirituality weirdness stuff, or just kind of, and kind of how that's, like, maybe how that's affected, like, how that spreads out into my life, or just, I don't know, just... And then, like, after watching, um... I mean, after watching, um, that stuff on TV a couple of days ago, that was, like, like, the occult and, pos and possession and stuff, like, and how there's, like, three phases and stuff, and, like, that makes me, like, um, that makes me a little scared, because, like, I've, ta I've talked about, like, some of this stuff, but, like, because there's points in past years that, like, I can't even, like, move... Like, it doesn't happen all the time, but there's points where, like, I can't even, like, move. And, like, in college, like, man, in college... In college, like, in undergraduate, like... And, I, and the line between psychological and spiritual, like, I don't know. Like, is it a psychological thing, really? is, like, especially, like, some of the stuff that I had in college, like, like, some of the stuff that I struggled with in college is, like, is, is that more psychological stuff? Is that, like, or is it spiritual? Or is it both? Like, because, man, in college, and in college, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about, like, spiritual, psychological stuff in college earlier this morning. I don't think that was part of my stuff, but, like, I mean... Yeah, I don't really, unless I, unless I touched on it this morning and just don't remember, but I don't, I don't think I thought of college stuff this morning, but, like, that was, like, <laughs> there's stuff that I'm aware of, and there's stuff that I'm not aware of, and if I knew, <laughs> I wonder, like, 
what if there's what if not for like i mean i don't know i don't know how how stuff works but like if there's the idea of like and like even and then even like this morning not just this morning i don't know if it was last night too but like maybe this morning at some point and maybe recently like just like this like i can notice it like it's just like depre like sadness or de like weight of sadness or de or depression or something like in my head but that like, i can kind of like notice it as like protect like kind of like a spiritual thing or depressed like i can kind of see it a certain way um not that not that i mean not to i don't know how like in my past of having depression like I don't like but as at least as far as this morning however that's connected or unconnected like I don't know but and then I don't that's not specifically what I am trying to or care to speak on right now but like this morning like this time around this morning last night maybe yesterday like there's just I was kind of in like this and this happens like I mean I've mentioned like a sadness aspect but as far as this thing where like i just kind of enter this like how do i even describe this like because like in college it would be like a like a maze thing like it's like a mental maze and how, does that make sense you're not in my head, so, like, I don't know how much sense that I can make to you, but, like, it, like, maybe there's someone that that can make sense to, though, because, like, because this is my head, right? Like, what maze could there be? Like, I, I'm, like, where does my consciousness exist? I don't, I don't know, my head, in my head, in my chest, I don't know, but, like, part of like there's a solidarity of existence maybe because of how much i like am in my head there's a solidarity of, a solidarity of existence like focused here and perhaps down here too um but like here there's like something can can, can kind of get like get trapped in like a maze <laughs> we'll say and in college like man there would be like it gets i don't man like that that probably is a good way to put it though that there's like a solidarity of existence in here and then that and then, and then that like that can get stuck in and also like i don't know how like dimensions of existence work or if that i mean but also people just get create people get so creative or there's so many ideas on stuff and like maybe life isn't that complex as like religions or i mean like the idea like you know there's there's trees there's humans there's animals there's death there's life like and then once you start getting to and then afterlife is one is where we is maybe where we start getting to like this extra stuff and then like galaxies science is on that run i don't do much with science but like But then there, in some aspects of spirituality and whatever, there's like, but even if you think of heaven or hell, like those almost would would count as like different dimensions or something. But like, when you start to get in like, and then like, like ghosts, they'd be like maybe part way between dimensions or something. I don't know. But like, but actually the mental stuff that I have, in, have that I've experienced as far as like my mental getting stuck in like mazes as a way of trying to explain that like that's almost a testament to like 
maybe not different dimensions as far as like heaven, hell, like ghosts and spiritual stuff or um there's some book it was either the four maybe it was the four agreements that that's a modern a modern book on like toltec wisdom ancient toltec wisdom but like i think maybe in that book and or the sramad bhagavatam which is a hindu text i think it's in the four agreements but there's this idea of like ideas can come from different um dimensions if i'm not tripping like i think it says something like that like some like stuff can come from different dimensions or something like our mind can get stuff from maybe i think that's maybe in the four agreements and then in the sramad bhagavatam like even though what i just said i think is in the four agreements but even in the sramad bhagavatam like there's there's like different there's like the fit and then even in our same world there, there can be like different like forces kind of, like because in the Shramagwa in the Shramad Bhagavatam it talks about like the physical or the Maya maybe or something like that. And then and if you wanted to equate that to like Christ, to, to, to like Christian speech, that'd be like it's the flesh kind of stuff. But then there's like I don't know, the spiritual if I guess let's just take it to Christian speech because I don't, I'm not even sure I know what the, like, I I don't know for sure what the uh, Hindu or the, at least the, the equivalent would be in the Srimad Bhagavatam, but like in Christian speech, it's like the flesh and then there's like the spirit or spiritual or God, Jesus, like, well, okay, so it's, it's like the flesh and the spirit or something like that, maybe, I don't know, but like, there's just there's all this like talk of stuff but like what's really real like are we and a person can just with stuff you can't see there is the risk of people just getting creative and just like thinking stuff that's like just of their creation but but the stuff that i've experienced in my spiritual weirdness <laughs> like maybe the remnants or the consequences of 11th grade stuff maybe but I also was a little weird with stuff like that even before 11th grade and that's something that I real that I thought of this morning because even 10th grade like I started getting weird so but like the way that my mind it's either but it could also connect to like even though I've never been diagnosed with like schizophrenia or something like but then even if even if this could be connected to something that could equate with like schizophrenia or um or like the beginnings of schizophrenia or something or some sort of psy psychotic or, psy or uh, psychosis or something even if it could equate with that even that could be related to spiritual stuff like that's just humans putting stuff into boxes because the flip side of that we all we just like or the other side of like that people are just like could maybe be getting creative with all this like dimensions of existence or like I mean, galaxies and stuff out there is science related, but even, I mean, but also humans, a lot of us like aren't even in science like that. And we just trust stuff that we hear. And if you want to get into like conspiracy theory, like stuff, like how do we know that what stuff people tell us or teach us is like true, like people start to doubt like history, but like like we just believe stuff that we're taught and we don't even know like it's different if like someone who's like into science like gets how stuff could work but a lot of us were just like i don't know no but there, there's people in the same age that like are into science and like actually probably like to some degree look into science but like some stuff we just like we just hear and just believe from like what we're taught in school or like being a part of this culture like I mean, I've seen certain animals in the zoo, I see, and then you see a select number of animals living in the Midwest, but, like, how many animals have I never seen, or maybe, like, because I would think there's, an, I would, there must be animals that, like, I've never seen, but that, like, I believe in, like, people are people of faith, like, one way or another.
I suppose. But like the mental main stuff that I've experienced, the height of it or the biggest of it would either be in college, maybe in a way. And then 11th grade would have its own, I don't know. 11th grade is a point of interest. College is maybe a point of interest. But like what I've experienced in the past, I think gives testament to like that we, that like potentially gives testament to like that we might be connected to I don't know maybe what could count as different dimensions I don't know but then again maybe that's taking it too far but there's something to be there's something to like Cause like this is just, this is a head like this is a head this is like where does my consciousness exist I don't like I'm moving like my whole body is certain parts of my body but like I'm a person who's in my mind so much that like there's like a locale there's like a solidarity of something and like and and maybe it's like I don't know like and yeah. I don't know. Or maybe it's not even a dimensions thing. Maybe it's just some like some sort of data on the nature of the mind that could be gleaned from that or the mind or the brain or something, but <sighs> But if you pay attention in your life, there might be clues of something. Something of the spiritual nature of yourself or I don't know like if you look at your and it might you might not be on any just any old day that you're able to notice because maybe that veal got to be lifted for God to like li and even and even God like how can there be a God like But like I grew up believing in a God, and so and I, you know, I was on that. So at my at this point, like I've already experienced stuff. But like, it makes there's a part of me that's like, how can that like, like how can there be a God? Like what? Like, but then there's also, but then also you kind of get into like, how can there not be a God to some degree? <laughs> the how can there be a God is kind of like larger for me in a certain way than the how can there not be a god but then if you take the how can there not be a god track it kind of like like if you're able to look to just kind of look at things of existence or just kind of think like both don't make sense to some degree but then even death doesn't make sense to humans death itself is such a huge or such a hard thing to process or to deal with and that's real like someone that you knew that you connected with or whatever dying like that's re like they're dead that's real and yet we can't grip that or can't and yet that's such a real that like that's part of life like that's a thing it's and it's just so hard to digest the death of someone that you're connected to or love because and maybe that's because like maybe even maybe there's even something in that like maybe it's because they're not dead like but maybe like a part of you is like thinking of them as like oh they're dead but maybe they're not fully dead or something or there's something to that and maybe part of you like maybe that's why it doesn't make sense because it's not true like i don't know but anywho someday or some chapter something that is normally blocked might be open to you. Because like I said, that, that morning, which I think is the same day that I later ran to that Peter Pan book list, there's like things float a certain way. And then like this morning, like it's just like I just was able to, and maybe it's not, I mean... 
I mean, the way that I said it is like to to run into something that like maybe is the way that I said it almost like infers like something that you've like not known before, and that could maybe happen too. But like, I don't know. There's dimensions of things or forces of things. There's dimensions of things that we're just, that we're not aware of, or maybe even forces at play that we're not quite aware of or fully aware of. And how things have gone in one's life like how close were they to going another way for bad or for good Like, how much do we really see? In the Book of Mormon, there is a character that isn't named. I think he's just referred to as the brother of Jared, but he was able to do something so that it was like God could hide nothing from him. In the Bible, Jacob be wrestling God. In the Bible, people came together and built like the Tower of Babel and God had to confuse speech. And subtext of that is that together we are powerful. And like if different people gave their data or like talked about like I've I've given my data <laughs> on my YouTube stuff. But like if ever if different people like because it's one thing if you're in one life and you're like, I mean, in your life, you interact with people, you learn from people. But if people like really brought their data together, brought resources together, like, you know, and maybe part of what like maybe if things were less of an ego dance like that could maybe help things too but even even if things were an ego dance like if people just brought their data together like there's stuff to learn together we can see I believe that the road to truth is when we put all of our lenses together. You're not as alone as you think. But when we hide stuff, then you think you are.